delay. Contemplating our graduation only nine months away, the time has come to make long-lasting decisions, days filled with deadlines and dreaded college applications, or easy classes and fanciful daydreams. As the chilly autumn breezes started to flow into Santa Cruz, the annual homecoming festivities began with the theme celebrating Santa Cruz. Homecoming royalty included Nick Sanchez and Lauren Gardner as king and queen. And for the first time in Harbor history, both homecoming king and queen were members of the football team. <laughs> Meanwhile, Harbor's student-run drama program performed the play Stage Door. They also, they also had us singing Let's Be a Lady Tonight when they staged the spring musical Guys and Dolls. But before Sky Masterson moved us all with his voice, we danced away to Casablanca during the winter formal entitled As Time Goes By. We joined our friends amongst the rose litter tables of Holy Cross as we enjoyed our last winter formal. Spring formal wasn't quite so tame, but we still danced our hearts out amid Mad Hatters and Cheshire Cats as bread and butterflies danced fluttered above us. This year, we expanded our global knowledge by taking the required world community class. One of Mr. Copal's classes, however, went above and beyond the required work by attempting to better our world through their Save Darfur campaign. T-shirts were sold for $15, and all proceeds went to nonprofit organizations working on ending the genocide in Darfur. In May, Hispanics, in, in, in May, Hispanics, including several Harbor students, united to protest the new immigration bill rotating through Congress. And just a few weeks later, people of all races and backgrounds party till six in the morning in the happiest place on earth in celebration of us, the class of 2006. Tonight, Disneyland hosted over 30,000 high school seniors for their grad night extravaganza. We danced, we screamed, and then we desperately tried to fall asleep on the bus ride home as the sun shone in our eyes. With graduation so near, senior athletes remember the last seasons of their high school careers. This year, our lacrosse team took third place at the SCCAL during its first season at the varsity level. City soccer players were also semi-finalists in the CCS Division III Championship. Woo! While our football team season wasn't quite so impressive, many of the individual players excelled. Nick Sanchez was deemed the league offensive MVP, and Kyle Stevens, Davis Wright, and Lance Walkup were named first team all-league players. Woo! And just a week ago today, we all came together at the Coconut Grove for our senior prom. Kyle Hart and Katie Waller were crowned prom, prom king and queen, and several other seniors were deemed prom royalty. We sang at the top of our lungs to Bohemian Rhapsody and danced our last dance while nearby pirates sailed the seven seas. But above all else, it was our friends and fellow seniors that made prom truly a night to treasure. And that brings us here to our graduation. Soon we'll be watching our friends leave our home on the bank and going on to their new lives at college is far away. And now our high school journey is finally done, but our lives are still just beginning.